The Sacramento Kings are now tied for the longest playoff drought in NBA history after missing the playoffs for their 15th straight year. De'Aaron Fox and Tyrese Halliburton are very nice foundational pieces for this team, but unless the Kings make a big splash, they will be stuck in mediocrity. Not good enough to be a dangerous playoff team, and not bad enough to get one of the top picks in drafts going forward without some major luck in the lottery. Historically, free agents haven't been interested in signing with the Kings, so they will need to make an opportunistic blockbuster trade. They've done it before when they traded for Chris Webber, which made them a contender not too long after. I believe the Kings can pull off such an opportunistic trade with the Sixers for Ben Simmons. In this video, we will go over a realistic trade scenario that would be beneficial for both teams, as well as how Simmons would fit with the Kings roster and positively impact winning. But before we jump into it, if you end up enjoying this video, hit the like button for me to help out my channel and let me know in the comments section if you think Ben Simmons can be that guy to get the Kings over the hump. I do try and respond to most people. Okay, so let's get into it. Ben Simmons has been dragged through the mud after his disastrous performance in these playoffs, which will bring his trade value down, and as a result will allow the Kings to make a competitive offer to the Sixers. Now, I know he isn't the perfect player, but make no mistake about it, Ben Simmons is an incredibly unique basketball talent. And the fact that he can impact the game the way he does without a jump shot is incredible. The man is a super athletic, versatile, 6 foot 10 point forward with incredible vision and is quite possibly the best defender in the league. And he's still only just 25 years old. So before we get into how Simmons fits on the Kings roster, let's break down a realistic trade scenario and what it may take for the Kings to acquire this devalued superstar. The Kings can offer up Buddy Heald, Marvin Bagley, this year's 9th pick in a loaded draft, a pick swap for the 2022 draft, a top 4 protected first in 2023, and a couple second round picks just as an additional sweetener. If the Sixers prefer, they can swap out Buddy Heald for Harrison Barnes and the numbers will still work. I would even consider taking out the protections for that 2023 draft pick that the Kings would offer up if that's what it would take to seal the deal. That's what it may take for the Kings to pull off this trade and it would be well worth it. As of today, this will also likely be the best offer the Sixers can get for Simmons, who they may likely need to move on from. Buddy Heald will give the 76ers even more spacing as he is one of the best shooters on high volume in the NBA, is super durable and is on a declining contract over the next few years which will give the team some financial flexibility. Heald will give Embiid that much more room to operate and wreak havoc in the post. Now Marvin Bagley has struggled to live up to being selected over Luka Doncic as well as with injuries in Sacramento. Playing for another franchise where he isn't constantly compared to Luka will do well for his development. And he is after all still only just 22 years old with offensive potential. This year's pick could potentially yield a fantastic prospect or be used as a trade chip along with that pick swap in 2022, the top 4 protected pick in 2023 and the second round picks. From the Kings perspective, they add a special young talent on the same timeline as De'Aaron Fox and Tyrese Halliburton. And I know it's going to be a tough pill to swallow trading away the ninth pick in a loaded draft, but the Kings would be lucky if that ninth pick turns into a player of Ben Simmons caliber. He will immediately improve the Kings league worst defense considering he's probably the most versatile defender in the league. Simmons will give them size, rebounding and can be a huge help offensively as well. But he will have a different role on this Kings team. Simmons cannot be the point guard or primary ball handler on this team like he was on the Sixers. That job is better suited for Fox or Halliburton. The role that would better fit his talents in Sacramento would be a version of what Draymond Green has been for the Warriors, elevating his teammates while also being that defensive anchor. Both Luke Walton and Alvin Gentry were associate head coaches for the Warriors, so they have experience with that death lineup utilizing Draymond Green's strengths. Simmons can do his damage deflecting the ball, being an active screener, rebounding, driving to the basket, delivering high IQ passes and defending every position. The Kings will also be more dangerous in transition with Simmons on the team, especially in a run and gun system. He would be deadly cutting to the basket with his drive and kick game in transition. Halliburton, Fox and Barnes all shot better than 39% on catch and shoot triples, so together they can pile on the points for the Kings. 
take a look at this potential starting lineup assuming the Kings resign Rashawn Holmes, which I do believe they should do. That right there is a versatile and dangerous lineup that can do some serious damage next season. I believe the Kings would immediately improve and finally break their horrible playoff drought after making this trade. All these guys are also on a similar timeline and can grow together over the years. Kings GM Monty McNair needs to be opportunistic and aggressive to take advantage of Ben Simmons' lower trade value. This is a trade he has to go for if McNair is serious about building a winner. The Kings need to shake things up, and this will be an incredibly interesting way to do it. What do you guys think? Should the Kings make an aggressive run at Ben Simmons? Let me know down below. Again, I do try and respond to most people. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me to help out my channel and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one, guys. I'm out.